Hey everybody, uh, Mirror Universe Marvin here from the Editing Bay. This episode is going to be kind of a weird one that ends kind of abruptly, and uh, that's because it ran kind of long. Uh, we originally ended with a recap of Season 1, and it went a lot longer than expected. So instead of bloating this episode, it's already pretty long on its own, I decided to make that recap a bonus episode for next week. So we'll see you then, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and thanks for listening. The last time we're going to hear this intro. Wesley, he's a big fool. (laughs) Beverly Crusher, she's a deadbeat mom. (laughs) She fucking hates that she has a fucking kid. You guys know Imagine Dragons? Yeah. yeah, it sounds like that. Sound, this my my singing sounds exactly like Imagine Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking horrible. <laughs> well, Imagine Dragon. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> uh, you know, you say you say Wes, uh, Beverly Crusher is a deadbeat mom. Yeah, but have you noticed Wesley hasn't been in the last few episodes? Exactly. Yeah, she and fucking when, snuffed him out. She finally succeeded. Yeah, she yeah. doesn't seem to like be worried that he's nope. suddenly gone. No, in fact, she's happy. She's like, he's, <laughs> he's off torturing some other poor, poor fool somewhere else. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this the the shows are this, it's less irksome. Like, like we all said last episode was very fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If Wesley Remember? showed up, we'd be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 God. God. What, it, there's a huge conspiracy going on. Why is yeah. Wesley involved? You know? Yeah. Like, that, that Wesley's the one in the season he would have been. Yeah, exactly. Somehow. Yeah. He was involved Wesley. when they went back to the edge of the universe. And then they were like, oh, you're the key to everything. It's like no, Wesley so brought in those butt bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been his fault somehow. Yeah. What if he... He, made got, a pact with them. he was infected as the host. Yeah. And then Picard mm. and Riker had to blow his head off. I and, and oh, that would have been that would have been a very upset. like and then uh, Beverly's like, what have you done to my s- uh, I don't care. Yeah. And moves on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just replicate it been like, what have you done? Oh, he was a butt he had butt worms. Never mind. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, she well, was the first to shoot butt the butt worms. So it's yeah. true. Yeah. 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 Well, in fact, the first person she killed was her own son. <laughs> off screen yeah as yeah, you said the stun isn't enough you have to ice the motherfucker <laughs> you have to set the phasers to ice the motherfucker <laughs> or else they don't work uh, this is the season fina- she just wanted to kill him <laughs> yeah this is the season finale we watched allegedly we watched uh i watched it yeah for the I first tried. time this season <laughs> the neutral zone is the last episode of the first season and mm-hmm. Uh, it sure doesn't feel like a season finale episode. <laughs> Not at no. all. It's so weird. <laughs> it it ended and I was like, is it a, is it a two-parter? <laughs> yeah. It's it's <laughs> like they very hastily try to like slap together some like yeah. book indie stuff near the end, but like it's, yeah. it doesn't work at all. Nah. Yeah. It's the really... content of this episode's pretty uh forgettable. Yeah, it's got two plots that don't mix together at all except for one scene where they force them to mix in a weird stupid way and Yeah. <laughs> I got issues with that character. Yeah, and Picard is like Picard wants them out of the episode. I <laughs> know, he's like, like yeah. he's, he's constantly one, like <laughs> keep them out of my way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like like nobody wants for some reason Deanna Troy is humoring them a lot, but yeah. you know, fucking I anyway. mean, yeah, th- that's pretty much her job. Yeah, but she, it's, it's Deanna's but like, time okay, to shine. But if you're doing negotiations with Romulans for the first time in 50 years, you probably want your empire. I don't need the Deanna there. <laughs> what would <laughs> she know? That's a piss she me put off. Together her pro- she put together her profile. She said, uh, oh I God. don't know much, but I'll put together something. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like I put, to- I, put get- I put together a PowerPoint. It only has yep. three slides. Cause that's all Basically, we got. That's that's about the as much yeah. information as she had. Three yeah. three PPT slides. Yeah, and the problem, even though they were one of the big bad villains in the original series, for some reason we know almost nothing about them. That is really weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how the how all that works. Really, is, I don't know why either. Even though like a lot of things were revealed because you know Romulans interact with Vulcans a lot, and Spock is a Vulcan, and they had all these yeah, conversations. I feel like Vulcans about ought to be able to give you some pretty decent intel on Romulans, but what do I know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. This episode, if this this season finale aired on May 16th of 1988. Dan, if you could tell us some cool shit that happened around that time. That's a lot of pressure because there's not always cool shit happening. <laughs> However, um, I will say that uh, last week we happened to mention that there's like some interesting movies that came out like, you know, within a week. Yeah. And what I meant by that, uh, there, there, there are two. Uh, one of them was Friday the 13th, part seven, the new oh. blood, which was, it was kind of like a consolation prize since they couldn't quite get Freddy versus Jason to happen yet. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so what they did instead was like, well, what if he fought like a carry girl? And, <laughs> yeah. And so it was all about like a psychokinetic girl who isn't carry, but is basically carry. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they had their little face off. Was it seven or eight? Uh, seven. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, then the new blood is uh, part I, seven. After after three, I don't remember what's in each movie by number. Because <laughs> there's, I'll be honest, I've I've seen uh, almost none. Because three those is movies. the Dream Warriors, right? Or is four? Oh, yeah. the, is four no, no, the no, Dream Warriors? You're, you're, you're talking, you're talking about Elm Street, no? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude, Wait. that's an insult. Now, dude. see, Marvin, you fell into the trap that I usually fall into. Oh yeah. no, I made it a point not to do that today. But oh, you did no. it for me. Oh no, I fucked up. Yeah, fucked up. like I am a I'm a mockery of an '80s kid. <laughs> I don't know shit about this shit. Oh no, I don't know as much about Freddy Thirteenth as I know about Freddy. Freddy, I was obsessed with Freddy as a kid. I'm still obsessed with Freddy. Uh, it's He's weird. definitely the more charismatic. Yeah, I think that's why. I mean, He's Freddy is is the more visually fun because you're yeah. in a dream and he'll do yeah. fun dream kills. It's why Dream Warriors yeah. is f- that's the one I remember the most. Dream Warriors, just because it's like mm-hmm. so silly and they have yeah. a plan to fight back. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I remember like that being like the cool thing about it. It's yeah. like, all right, cool. We we have strategies. We're trying. Yeah, that's what made it a lot of fun. It's yeah. like mm-hmm. it it crossed almost from horror into like action, and you're like, oh, this is some weird shit happening. It's interesting. No, yeah. I enjoy when horror movies become like a an actual battle. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I, I do. I do enjoy that. The other movie that released, not it didn't seem to have wide release or anything, but it is one of those things that kind of like became a cult classic elsewhere. It's Maniac Cop. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, with uh, yeah, Robert the zombie Zadar. Popo who seeks revenge on uh, probably minorities or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's Robert Zadar just going nuts. <laughs> and, and and killing people with his huge and encasing chin. a man's face in a zombie mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks yeah. pretty. It, it's it's pretty. Wow, big. I haven't seen Maniac Cop in a while. I actually don't even. Most of my Robert Zadar memories have been replaced with like Samurai Cop. <laughs> like I thought you were about. I, I thought you were about to say like with Amy Sedaris. <laughs> why, why Amy Sedar? Just because of Adar. <laughs> Robert I was just thinking Zadaris. of other things that, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 what's the other? What's her brother's name? Was it David? Yeah, David. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, oh, but uh, th- that's that's not all. Um, because uh, some other honorable mentions that were to release uh, for, with throughout the rest of May, since we won't be able to get to them because the season's ro- um, about to end. Yeah. Uh, Ricardo mentioned last week Willow, mm-hmm. uh, yep. Rambo three. Mm-hmm. Um, I mentioned Killer Clowns from Outer Space last last week. Um, Crocodile Dundee two. Yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, and that's actually, there's, there's a bunch more in June, but nah, that's it's it's uh, too far. Like Who Framed Roger Rabbit released that June. Oh wait, what day in June did it release? Uh, b- 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 hold on one second, I can get that information June, for you. June twenty second, June twenty second, twenty second. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, there you go. That's ten uh, days uh, after my birthday. May thirty first, oh. though. May thirty first, uh, Black Eagle was released with uh, oh. Shokasugi. And oh, it's, a, it's a Shokasugi movie. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, cool, legendary. Cool. Lot of lot of canon films. He's in. Uh, yeah, and, and, dude. And ninja films in general. Yeah, gotta get him. All right, gotta and the him. very very last bit of history, and uh, well, t- two last tidbits, both concerning um, U.S. government. Oh. Supreme Court ruled that the trash may be searched without a warrant. Oh, is this when it happened? Oh. Yeah, that's when it happened. On that, the 16th, as soon as exactly. you put it on the curb, I remember. I remember there being TV episodes discussing this law like of like law and order and stuff where they're like oh now we can look through their trash <laughs> yeah it is a kind of a kind of sort of a big deal and uh also u.s surgeon general c everett coop this was the day that he reported that nicotine is as addictive as heroin mm. Mm. so yeah a couple of neat little tidbits there and that's all i got in, in not everything was cool in hindsight is that true 
I don't know. That 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 is an interesting like thing to posit. Because heroin is quite quite addictive. <laughs> I would say, I would say that, don't you think there's more people addicted to nicotine than there are people addicted to heroin though? Right. But part of that is because of, well, it, it might, it might be also a, a matter of like how detrimental the subs or like the delivery method is to your body. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah. it's like, they can be, if, even if they were equally addictive, I'm assuming that heroin ravages you more, far faster than nicotine like, would. Like I've had, I've had two friends who have tried heroin and then they were like, it, you can feel yourself getting addicted as it's happening. You know, mm. like, I don't know. And I don't imagine the same happens with this. I never smoked a cigarette, but I imagine. You've never smoked a cigarette not, ever? I've never smoked a cigarette. I've smoked weed. But I've never smoked a cigarette because um, I just have an aversion to it. I just don't I, like the I idea smoked for it. 10 years. Oh, I don't I smoke know that. now. Yeah. But I, st- I'm, I still consider myself a smoker. Well, you smoke other like, things. E- like ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm saying like, I still. I don't know. I would still smoke if I had the chance. <laughs> oh, so if someone was like, "Hey, you, like you want you want one?" Like outside, you would just take if, one. If my if my wife wouldn't like hit me. No, I'm kidding. She's in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Someone's gonna fucking call in child services. Um, <laughs> child services. <laughs> I'm a child. Um, uh, now, if I I think like given the chance. Like yeah, I, I would sm- I would start smoking again. Even though I like even now, like I'm like, eh, it's kind of gross. But I, it, mm, sometimes when you have like a nice steak dinner, you're like, ah oh, man, I can go for a cigarette. Though cigars, I get away with a couple, t- you know, a couple times a year. Cigars and, is uh, just in, you just hold it in the mouth, right? You don't you don't you inhale. you 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 smoke it, but you don't inhale. Yeah, so yeah, you don't you're you don't, sucking you don't in t- the air. But yeah, you don't you don't inhale it. You're not supposed to go all the way into your lungs mm-hmm. like with the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a Same different thing like it's tobacco like, pipe. It's more like, tasting. Yeah, the, the yeah. Cigar it's, it's like exactly. Are. It's like rinsing your mouth with smoke as opposed right. to right. drinking something. Yeah, I don't know yeah. any of this etiquette. I only, the only I've done the tobacco uh, pipe, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when yeah. you guys try the tobacco, like because there's cause, a murder uh, afoot. Have you? Done? <laughs> <laughs> because our, our friend Nate bought a corn cob <laughs> pipe. Uh, for for tobacco, and then uh, Dan tried. I think it he has a couple, or, or like a fair few. He he has multiple pipes. Well, in back fact, when I, back the, when I knew him in in, in the apartment, like that's when he mm. started he, by getting a corn cob pipe. I think, and then um, I don't know. I've never I, I've never been interested in, in like um pipes. No, nah, I don't nah. know why. It it seems too much work and like too much to carry. Like I yeah, guess it's like, like you have to put, you have to put a kit and together. And yeah, it's too <laughs> yeah, much like, thing. Yeah, <laughs> those who get into it like yeah. describe it as like a, a calming ritual. You tamp down the the the, the leaf and then <laughs> like yeah, it's supposed to be looser toward the bottom or something. I, it's been a while, but yeah, you can't pack it too tight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Lots of things to consider. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To smoke weed. You can't use a regular lighter. You have to use a match unless you get that Zippo that can turn sideways or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that stuff. But this is very, very Star trek talk. Yeah. No one's smoking in Star Trek, though, so. <laughs> though in the, in the holodeck, they were, so. Oh, were and, they? Uh, just just yeah, to put a pin yeah. in it, uh, according to AmericanAddictionCenters.org, the top five most addictive uh, substances, according to them, are cocaine, heroin, alcohol, nicotine, meth. Netflix? <laughs> Is it the last yeah. one? Methflix. 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 That's surprising. I would not. I would never have thought nicotine is that high up. That's interesting. Yeah. Meth, I, yeah. Methflix and Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meth, Methflix and Phil. You want to come pills. over to my house? <laughs> Methflix and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you lose your tongue? Ah, I was, it, it oh, was no, mouth. I was smoking mouth and I burned my mouth. Mm, like, yeah. Um, no. Okay, no, stop. Yeah, <laughs> Rambo three, Rambo three, guys. Um, oh, so uh, you, you're mentioning Friday the Thirteenth seven, and the reason I brought eight is because one of the uh, one of the co stars of this this episode, uh, Peter Mark Richmond, who plays one of the people that gets unfrozen. Which one? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, he plays the Donald Trump guy. Oh, the, the yuppie. Okay, the yuppie. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. was in yeah. he uh, was in Friday the Thirteenth Part Eight. Jason takes uh-huh. Manhattan. Yeah. Ah, Jason so. takes Manhattan. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, great. Man, I miss takes Manhattan as like a go to like oh, subtitle. Man. Oh man, yeah. I wish like Avengers take Manhattan. You oh, know, man, yeah, <laughs> you know? that would be sick. If they did that. You know, Justice yeah, League takes perfect. Manhattan. Aquaman takes Manhattan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Speaking of Manhattan, uh, we watched the Neutral Zone. No, it's nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> it's just technically a season finale, although you wouldn't know it if you caught it as a random episode on TV. You would not. <laughs> not Carl, at all. Carl, yes. what'd you think? What do you think of this fucking thing? So, this is my favorite episode of the season, I think, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly. Well, oh, so that's it is very interesting. Wait, and I that's fi- not a joke. No, it's not a joke. So, like, I find so, that like, really interesting. This, I think so I this can show, understand why. This show doesn't make any sense because it just ends. Like, it, there's no conclusion to it. It's just, it's not even a real cliffhanger. It's just like, well, the story stops. We'll figure it out. Okay. See you later. And then, yeah. it, like, it just stops. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think the characters and the topics that they talked about was so interesting. And, like, I, I find myself like trying to yell at the screen, but also like, oh man, this is a pretty cool thing. And, and, and you learned a lot. You learned what year it is in like human, year, you know, like quote unquote earth years. Earth years. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. And you, you learned a lot of things actually that, that I didn't know. Uh, but so the episode starts off and <clears throat> uh, Picard is, uh, is not on the, um, he's not on the enterprise. He took a shuttle to visit some other people. Yeah, he's that just sort of a meeting to. that, that yeah. they don't really discuss what happened, but that they can't yeah. do over video conferencing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And am I, am I, was I really high last week or the last week's episode was a worm episode, which involved the Him also doing people, a similar right? thing where Body he snatchers. had to, yeah, where he yeah, also okay, had okay, to okay. physically okay. meet them. So, so it makes you almost think like it could be a part- potential alternate conc- like path of that or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, but, uh, and so, like I said, this is one of my favorite episodes now of the season. Because mm-hmm. of the topics they talk about, but um, so you have the the captain not on the bridge, and it, Riker's in charge, and he starts off. It's the it's first officer's log, and uh, they come into contact with this fucking uh, satellite. Kind of, it's kind of. I would would you call it a satellite? It's kind of like a space station kind of thing, like a yeah, bigger I think it's satellite. Like a space station. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like a space station, like a mini yeah. space. It's not as big as like the International Space Station, but it's yeah, definitely yeah. like trying to evoke something like a mirror or something like that. Yeah, yeah, w- and, which would have been relevant at the time. Yeah. And it is, however, capable of artificial gravity. That, yeah. that is fascinating. Yeah, I don't know if that's just a contrivance they forgot to mention. Or, or like oh, I mean, zero yeah. count, a zero G environment just for this is a tall order. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. the fact that a, a thing like a derelict ship like this, where apparently everything's falling apart, they just tell, transport it on with no oxygen or anything. Yeah. Computer divert all power <laughs> to artificial gravity. <laughs> <laughs> like data makes sense. Like the data yeah. is, a, is an Android, but cl- forget like, life support. Artificial gravity. <laughs> or should be like, oh, you know, because I don't like. <laughs> I, have doubt, the, I doubt this place is still sealed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get yeah, to that. Cause yeah. I have a lot of questions to that, but do we ever see them in zero gravity? Mm, I don't have any memory of that happening in TNG. Hmm. That's a very expensive effect. It so, is. It yeah. is. Yeah. And difficult. Like for like a, a basically a show that's kind of shot like a sitcom. So yeah. I don't know if they have the ability to do that. You know, what's well, funny. Cause like star Wars has never done it either. Or none of the movies have done it. I guess no, the, the movies have done it. Oh no, yeah, those uh, the Star Trek movies definitely do it. Don't uh, you remember it, yeah. when Leia, you know, willed herself through space? <laughs> oh, and also, you're right. You're right. And you're also, right. the flew. very first Star Trek the motion picture has Spock in like a spacesuit. So oh. it is a thing that can okay. happen. And they have equipment they for it. Well, it better it. fucking be able to happen. <laughs> it's fucking space. I know, but it, you never see it in the shows. That's the thing. It's always confusing. Like, <laughs> um, so so there's this there's this ship or space station, whatever it is, and it's really old. Mm-hmm. And uh, Data's like, "Hey, can can I go over there and study it?" Like, it's and and Riker's like, "What the fuck do you want to do that for?" And he's like, "Well, it's a piece of history. Yeah, yeah. I, we should we should at least go check it out." For history's sake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you get a lot of trouble, dude. Just doing things for history's sake. <laughs> uh, and so let's keep these monuments for history's sake. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, confederate. Yeah. It's a yeah, confederate. It's a confederate space space con- yeah. <laughs> oh, confederate. man. Yeah. Uh, so you, you have, I'm not going to fucking forget it, dude. Uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, so you have this, you have this, um, and I, I, I stand in this with this statement. If you're a piece of shit in history, you deserve to be forgotten. Because <laughs> remembering you is like 
like keeping you alive and fuck you like you know <laughs> is my, well, my, my theory. I, think, I think you have to remember them just so you know that if I he comes it. back we gotta kill him yeah you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, if yeah, Hitler, if only Hitler, that far. If Hitler yeah. literally came back, we would know yeah. to, to ice the motherfucker right away. Immediately. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be well, that simple. I feel like I feel like if if we invent time travel, the first thing we'd do is go back and kick his mother in the crotch so he didn't she didn't follow the earth with a piece of shit like him. <laughs> no, uh, his, anyway. his mom had nothing to do with it. It's it was not his mom's her fault. fault. The, so she just complimented his goddamn paintings. Uh, <laughs> she's the Beverly Crusher of this universe. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you're looking at future Hitler Making over here. Wesley, the <laughs> future what of this universe, <laughs> the Hitler. Hmm? Okay, he took over the ship. <laughs> yeah, in a drunken, ra- drunken rage. Yeah, yeah, and all that genocide that he committed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, so Data's like, "Hey, let me go check this thing out." And Riker's like, "Well, how long till the captain's back?" And they're like, oh, a few hours or whatever bullshit." And and then Riker's like, oh, "Okay, Data, you can go take Worf, the the chief security officer, who's very important. Sure, take him." I find it a little weird that Riker was like, "Let's just let it burn up," because the whole <laughs> yeah. point of the Enterprise of Starfleet in general is to explore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you find something interesting, you don't go, ah, let's ignore it. Yeah. Like, that's, that's not how they work. They're supposed that to be. Satellite wasn't one of Riker's like old legends that he gets all like yeah. hype about. <laughs> oh, the it's legendary like, Atlantis planet or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> it's not raging waters or anything like that. It's, he's just, you know, I can't have sex with that planet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, a yeah, piece yeah. of shit it's not, in, the, in space. <laughs> uh, so, so they beam into onto the, 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 the station. And I don't know. So like you, like you said, there's gravity, there's oxygen, but everything else is fucked up. Yeah. So there's like, here, here's the thing. This ship has like manual hatch doors, but <laughs> yeah. there's artificial gravity, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense. No. Uh, <laughs> so, so they they scan the ship and then they're like, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to hook up to this onboard computer, this old timey computer with fucking readouts and, and yeah. dials and, and, and a hard it's drive. Really old. Yeah, yeah, it actually a hard name drops a hard drive. Yeah, that's yeah, funny because yeah. everything should be solid state by then. But yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so they go in, they like push into this other room, and there are all these like cylinders, and they're all frozen, which is weird because this this happens. Data goes and wipes down one of the cylinders that has like kind of like a window, mm-hmm. and he sees like a dead body inside. Yeah, but mm-hmm. if that cylinder had the seal had been broken, don't you think like if there's oxygen inside that? <laughs> If there's oxygen inside that satellite, wouldn't have that person just survived? Uh, I think so. So I think their explanation is that they froze them right as they died. Oh, you're so right. So when right, they right. unfroze, they're, they're just, they just their died. dead bodies are just unfrozen and they just start yeah. decomposing. Yeah, you're um, right. Because they're not yeah, I think that yeah. is correct. Yeah. That, yeah. that does sound correct. So I do want to point out though, what's up with that stuff behind him? It looks like soundproofing material. Okay. That soundproofing material is also all over the transport room. Have you noticed? It's true. It's oh, true. <laughs> you think they were all recording artists? Like George <laughs> Jones? <laughs> Yeah, man, they, they encase themselves in that little like yeah. capsule well, just them, so that they can get the honest, cleanest like, signal. Like he's not yeah. transporting at all times, like right? Rhinestone so Statham sometimes likes yeah, to true. bust out his guitar, yeah, play a few tunes. Mm. Yeah, if he, if he hears I, a good a riff, he likes. Yeah, turns on the mic. You know, it it, it seems like it's it's soundproof material or a waffles. I, mm. I I thought waffles. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and I and I got really hungry. They're in they're encased in nice fluffy waffles. Yeah, <laughs> you that or the white best. chocolate. <laughs> um, oh, and and chocolate. That's true. And so <laughs> they 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 wipe down a couple of them, and two they two of them have like skeletons in them or decomposed bodies, and mm. then they uh, they they do the the third one, and there's a woman, there's a blonde woman, white mm-hmm. woman, of course, fucking. <laughs> bullshit they're all white uh, yeah yeah <laughs> and so so they're like oh what the fuck what the fuck's happening here and th- apparently they're like oh these people are frozen and what happened was that the, the first two chambers kind of like well they were so old that the seals popped or broke or whatever and they were they didn't they didn't survive the trip mm-hmm. so um so then they get they get a record gets a call like hey it's fucking picard dude 
Let's get the fuck out of there, get dude. Get the fuck back here. If Picard, yeah. if, if, if Picard comes back and catches me without yeah. Data on the bridge, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, gonna, he's <laughs> acting like that. Yeah. <laughs> he's so scared. Yeah. And he, doesn't even, he doesn't even tell Picard that these people, that, that he they found these people. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. Picard had to find out. Yeah, he found out later, but like, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. I was like, what are you fucking talking about? I was like, nothing, nothing, nothing. No one nothing. told me this part of the plot yeah. was happening. I think so, Data w- would have told him, but Riker was like, whatever, just get the fuck over here and shut up. Don't so, let him so know you went <laughs> Data, Data's yeah. like, hey, we found these bodies. What the fuck do we do? And he's like, what do you mean you found these bodies? And he's like, yeah, it's just, you know, what do we do with these? And he's like, fuck him, we'll beam him up, dude. And so they, they, I guess they beam him up. We don't see that part. Uh, and Picard shows up and he's like, all right, uh, we, we got to go to the, what is it called? Uh, the Phantom Zone. What is it called? Oh, <laughs> the Neutral Zone. The Neutral. <laughs> the the neutral name zone, of the episode. Yeah. The Neutral Zone. The Neutral Zone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this episode should have been called uh, Picard meets Walt Disney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like and that. So, yeah. And so, so uh, he's like, "Hey, we're going to this these coordinates," and gives he gives Data these coordinates, and everyone starts tr- they turn around. They're like, "That," but that's the. And it's weird because like they don't even like do the math. They're like like okay, this is, this is thirty-four and then carry over the and then what's pi? Okay. Oh, that's a neutral zone. They just yeah. they just knew like the coordinates. Well, Jordy they, knew. They memor- I guess so, but like I don't Jordy's know. real smart. I you guess know. so. Yeah, yeah. Jordy knows his way around some coordinates. Also, he might have pl- he might have plugged the address into the Google Maps and then the Google that's Maps true. is like, that's yeah. neutral zone. Are you sure yeah. you want to go into neutral zone? And then do you Jordy remember that? John you, says, "Hey, it's in the neutral zone." Do you remember and that he, app that these rich assholes brought out once? It was like an add-on to Google Maps, where it basically, if it was like, "Oh, you did a route," it says, "Hey, you're going through a bad neighborhood. Do you want to go through that neighborhood?" Really? <laughs> and it tried to oh, avoid l- like poor neighborhoods. No I way. think <laughs> I remember hearing about that, but I haven't just have no clue what it was called. It was real bad. <laughs> It's called mm. fucked up. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, and so they're like, hey, we're going to the neutral zone. And the neutral zone, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's kind of like international waters. Yeah. That's be- or almost, ex- sort of. that's yeah, almost that's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's where all mm-hmm. the drugs, you could buy all the drugs or weapons. Yeah. Or it's why wars. like they have outposts and stuff there, but the outposts yeah. are like really vulnerable. Yeah. And it's just. But also the outposts there, they do a lot of fucking heroin and oh, oh, tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's and what those outposts are for. You know? yeah. Wait, I want to check with you guys real quick. Is this the first time they've actually entered the neutral zone? Yes. Because I know that it's been brought up before. This is the first neutral time zone? that the that the Enterprise in TNG has entered the neutral zone. Okay. Other mentions beforehand, were they like just up right up against it or something? I think they were just like, we're getting dangerously close to the neutral Adjacent. zone. Adjacent. Yeah. Like, what about that time that they had to like show up to scare away a Romulan vessel? That was at the edge of the neutral zone. Yeah. Okay, just the edge of it. Yeah. Which is like interesting because that already is so close that you think that would have been really scary. But this is like they they like they just noticed it in the middle of the neutral zone and they're considering it like a huge deal. But uh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's kind of weird because like all of this like prep and like talk about the Romulans and how to encounter them and how to approach them feels like it should have happened before when they uh, you know were coming up uh, against it. I don't know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, Whatever. So, so, so Picard calls like the, the, his, his A team, uh, and to, into the conference room and he's like, Hey, we're going to the neutral zone because two Federation outposts were destroyed. So we're going to go investigate what's going on. It's sketchy. We're going to try to figure it out. Great. And, uh, you know, that's it. And everyone's like, Oh, fuck, dude, seriously. Uh, and they, they, they think they suspect it might be. That's a Ferengi. What are these dudes called? Romulans. Uh, Romulans. Romulans. Yeah. Romulans yeah. are uh, just evil Vulcans. So they're, 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 yeah, they're, yeah. they're as yeah. cunning as Vulcans, but they give in to their emotions and they feel very arrogant about things and they like war. They like controlling people and they're. They just need fucking therapists, dude. <laughs> they just they their 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 society like doesn't it's it's like America. They're like eh, we don't care about fucking he- your health, your mental health. <laughs> We're not gonna help you. Yeah, we, just send him a couple of Deannis. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of fucking uh, a lot of fucking um, thoughts and prayers in the Romulan <laughs> community. Um, and so so you have uh, you you have the meeting and like yeah we think it's Romulans but whatever. And then Beverly was like. Hey, so what do you want us to do with these survivors? <laughs> Picard's like, what? 
Yeah. Yeah. What survivors? Like these yeah. people that we that we dug up from that fucking the, the satellite with oxygen. And Picard's like, what the fuck are you t- what what did you guys do while he's gone, dude? <laughs> yeah, you guys resurrected like, the I dead. I leave the ship for two seconds. Yeah. You got yeah, fucking yeah. like zombie people yeah. from the dead. So Don't just so, throwing yeah. people out. So I brought up that as a clip because his reaction to it is so strange and funny. Yeah. So I, I I brought it up as a clip right here. I am never critical of any member of my staff being curious, but it's just that the timing was so. I could not leave them there, Captain. The condition of their vehicle was deteriorating. But data, they were already dead. <laughs> I mean, what more could have happened to them? <laughs> I see your point, Captain. But at the time, it seemed the proper thing to do. Well, they're alive now. <laughs> We're going to have to treat them as living human beings. Alive and well and ready to be awakened. Look, before you wake them up, I want to have security here. Lieutenant Worf, report to sick bay. I have them sedated now, but they should be up and about as soon as possible. Well, then we have no other choice. None that I can see. Like he is so annoyed that data saved some people's lives. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well that, that, see, this is what I like this episode. Cause it's, it's an interesting like theory. I mean, not theory. It's an interesting concept that like you have people that cry, cryogenically froze themselves. Right. Uh, some before they died, some after some while they were dying. Right. All of them, assume. all of them, as soon as they died, they froze them. Yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, the George Jones character, the country singer, he he kind of froze himself before, doesn't he? Because uh, well, he had- well, the Beverly said like they all d- are were dead, like oh, they, okay, they okay, like okay. they were like um uh the 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 housewife lady died of an aneurysm, so that was really quick. But yeah. the other two were dying slowly of diseases. Yeah, so like they think they were preparing, and then. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you have three people that were cry- cryogenically frozen. God damn it, that's a hard <laughs> word for me. Uh, <laughs> that were cryogenically frozen. And so you have uh, George Jones, a country singer yeah. from Atlanta, Georgia, because uh, he <laughs> wants to watch a, the Braves game. Yeah, uh, yeah. You have, you have, um, you have like a Donald Trump slash like Walt Disney type, like a, yeah, he's a like British a, tycoon. Yeah, like he's like a he's like a Enron yeah. executive. That's what he feels like. Yeah, like yeah. like eighties executive a asshole. Yeah, 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 eighties business guy. Yeah, 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 but not young, old. No, no, yeah. yeah. He's like Scrooge McDuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's eating a lot of money before he died, and so uh, you have this, and then you have the the housewife, mm-hmm. and so this is an interesting concept because so like they were dead, but then like now the technology is so far advanced that like when they thawed them out, they were able to. To just fix them but now they're alive but technically it's a weird technicality because they were dead right they just fixed them and re-brought them so they literally animated the dead yeah well it's it's i think they were medically dead like kind of like how tasha yar was medically dead and they just try to bring her back or when you're even when you're like in the er like why, the didn't, why couldn't they bring tasha back but fucking george jones they fucking go all out and bring him back george jones didn't get blown up by venom <laughs> that's why that's true he died he died I, from, I guess venom's just a little better at killing people yeah venom yeah. venom apparently literally tore her brain atoms yeah. apart so <laughs> yeah uh, so that's uh, speculative <laughs> So, so you, if you're tearing so, atoms apart, you're causing like, like nuclear explosions. Martin. Well, I don't know. The, 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 like Beverly said some bullshit about how the neurons are all degrading or something. So I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. I guess so. So, so you, so these, these are the three people. So like the housewife, uh, the housewife had an aneurysm mm-hmm. and then, uh, George Jones, uh, the country singer, he had just like. He is he's kind of like Johnny Cash slash like George Jones. Like mm. he basically he's a country singer and he drank himself to death and slash a bunch of barbiturants and yeah, probably yeah. quaaludes yeah. and probably heroin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You don't want none of this Dewey. <laughs> Dewey Cox, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, they yeah, heavily they heavily imply it's it's yeah. lots of drinking. Cause, yeah. Because the first thing he wants is a martini. <laughs> Well, which is a well, which is a really fancy drink for like a hick country singer. Yeah, but, you think yeah, he, he, he wants want, like everything though? Because he later Daniels. like tries to hit up he tries to hit up Beverly for like yeah. you know uh, uppers and downers and yeah, yeah, yeah some, that's true. That's to true. Cap yeah, off yeah, the yeah, night yeah, and blah yeah, blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. he's like, oh, come on, baby. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, and so and he turned so out to he, be the coolest guy of the three. <laughs> yeah, 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 which yeah. is which is interesting. Like he's yeah, like he's yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's like yeah, I get it, I get it. It's, but let's just have fun. He just wants to party. party. Yeah. yeah, and I can I can relate to that. I love to party. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Given that he's like the artist of the three, he's probably the best set to exist yeah. in this world. Yeah. Oh yeah, because this is a yeah. world that directly supports artists. Like yeah, if like, he wants it's 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 a utopia for artists. But yeah. now he he can go to like a fuck planet and just like sing to them and they'll fall in love with them and oh they'll be like what is wants. this music classical yeah. music you're yeah. playing and yeah. they'll, they'll be like Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and so so they uh they they wake them up and the first they wake up the the housewife and she wakes up and she's like oh where am i who am i <laughs> and she sees fucking warp and she fucking faints yeah and she's like oh no Classic. not a black and man <laughs> yeah yeah i was about to say you wonder yeah. if <laughs> <laughs> she's is a- she fainting because <laughs> he's a klingon or is because no, he's a black I, Klingon. Like, what if that was a <laughs> second aneurysm? <laughs> yeah. And they had to bring her back a third time. But so like she she faints. She's that racist housewife faints. And she's like, oh no. And uh and so they we got a commercial. There's a commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> and then um they finally bring them all back and they start talking to them. Mm-hmm. And the housewife was like, Oh, I can't believe it. Like my that my husband would do this. So she had no idea that her husband had planned this or, or this wasn't her plan. Mm-hmm. Like, so which she sounds just, like a huge violation yeah. of general human rights. Like, I don't think you can just do that to people. Yeah. But think about like, can you put a corpse on <sighs> conservatorship? No. So that's a, th- it's a thing. I, so <laughs> so good, I've is, learned about stuff. That's like why this. I like this episode, dude. This is why I like this episode. <laughs> you can't use, you can't corpses aren't property. So you can't just decide to, what to do with them. Like hmm. you, like I forget there's, there's rules involving that. Like you have to, have uh like accepted ways of dealing with the deceased you can't just be like oh they gave me their body i can do whatever i want with it you know it has to be like well you technically there should be like a uh a weekend at bernie's thing where you have three days to do whatever the fuck you want with the body you know <laughs> yeah. party with it <laughs> then we gotta put in the drop box bernie's, no yeah, yeah. bernie's addendum yeah. where yeah. you can yeah. you can have bernie's one weekend <laughs> yeah. one weekend It'd and be cool if Bernie Sanders like brought that to the Senate. <laughs> I'm going to add an addendum. <laughs> yeah. To to addendum. our COVID stimulus plan. Yeah. Two days, do whatever you want to a body. Yeah. <laughs> three, depending on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a holiday weekend, you got to do three. Yeah. Because um, that would just be awkward where you yeah, waste yeah, a day. You, you want all your impressions yeah. are missing. Let me be clear. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me be mm. clear. <laughs> so you have a, you have a, uh, uh, Riker explained to them like, "Hey, you dudes are on the USS Enterprise." And the first thing the rich guy says is like, "American ship?" Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> this fucking guy. This guy. I want to slap this guy. motherfucker so bad. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I wanted him to like just do something like on the bridge, and then like Worf just fucking punches him, and he, and well, he like, his I'm head like, flies off. I'm like, I was kind of weirded out that Riker found him so amusing. I was hoping Riker would get more and more annoyed and just go, yeah, bah, just yeah. like socks right. his block, you know, like because because Riker is prone to do that if, if angered, yeah. <laughs> and the rich guy's like, so, so this is an American vessel, yes, yes, and and he's like, well, he's like, what? This is like a federation of planets, and Earth is one of them, basically. And he's like, what? He's like, what year is this? He goes all Kyle Reese on him. What, <laughs> what year? Uh, and, and Data's like twenty three sixty four, basically in mm-hmm. Earth years, in like quote unquote Earth year, right? And so everyone's like, what the fuck, dude? Because technically they went to sleep. They don't really say when, but I imagine like it was like the late eighties that they got frozen. I guess or, or when. So I don't know. It, it, they don't really say because like. The country singer seems like well. They he, said that the cryogenic definitely. freezing was a fad that uh, existed like for a very short period of time. They specified a century. I, I don't yeah. remember which one though. But but like so like it was around when Walt Disney was around because he froze his head. <laughs> so like when they first found these bodies, I thought, oh fuck, they're gonna have Walt Disney in here, dude, and he's gonna wake up. And <sighs> I have to say allegedly. And so I don't get sued, but allegedly, <laughs> okay, allegedly, uh, they did say late 20th century. That, that's when okay. these guys are frozen. Okay. So it could have been the 80s. It could have been the 90s. It could have been, yeah, yeah, only between the 80s and 90s. Close enough. Close. Uh, enough. Yeah. Allegedly, Walt Disney was a fucking horrible fucking anti semite. Oh, and yeah, imagine allegedly. him like being thought out, and he was like, oh fuck, he just starts a bunch <laughs> of fucking anti semitic jokes left and right. Oh man. Oh god. So 
basically they were frozen and they uh, some of them are taking it well like so like the rich guy is like he just wants to get to his money he screwed yeah. up duck is like let me just get my money and fucking get my a big ass house like he, c- he can't wrap himself around the concept of like hey which i feel like if you're a rich guy you maybe it's the times we live in but imagine like you get being frozen right now mm-hmm. and they wake you up in a couple thousand years mm-hmm. and then and then you wake up and they're like hey money doesn't mean anything else. you're like fucking great dude great. yeah yeah but like it's weird to i guess i guess th- we're talking about like eighties or seventies people. Yeah, this is a guy. This is a guy who is defined by his money. Yeah, like he. Yeah. This is one of those guys who like literally has no other identity other than I am rich. You know. Yeah. So it's like it, once that's taken away from you, you don't have anything left. Yeah. So if I wake up in a, th- a couple thousand years from now, my question, my questions are: What happened to my family? And to what's the weed situation here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we it, can replicate as much yeah. weed as you like. It's like fucking. Let's get this baby started. We can make it pure uh, shit too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have entire planets dedicated to making drugs. <laughs> literally, you don't, need it. you don't need it though, because you, you could literally just replicate it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you could just re- replicate it. Like this guy wanted a, a martini, and he got like the best martini he's ever drank. Yeah, right? which is which interesting. Is interesting. Yeah, because because apparently the replicator is terrible at making food. So he must have been drinking terrible martinis. Yeah. He must have been drinking like <laughs> well, is it off. terrible or is it just passable? It's it's like a lo- some people say this is terrible. Like it's a running joke on Voyager that it's terrible, which is why yeah. they have Neelix there to be the chef and to justify him as a character. <laughs> <laughs> so. but, but is it terrible because it doesn't know seasoning or is it terrible because like the food is bad? Like- I think it's terrible because it's like eating like a TV dinner version uh, of the meal okay, okay. basically like or yeah. like a takeout it, do, you think, do you think there's high cholesterol in this world uh i'm sure you could just like literally Lower it. like they probably like, solved like, it. like just do the hypo go psh, oh, yeah gone. You, just take beverly, beverly crusher's fucking little magic screwdriver <laughs> yeah yeah and like <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, you, and it, it's not it doesn't just lower your cholesterol you just never yeah. ever have high cholesterol ever no. again yeah and it just yeah. immediately gets rid man of this world's pretty badass you have weed <laughs> and no high cholesterol yeah, they Dude, probably developed the cholesterol inhibitors yeah, yeah. The, the craziest part the thing i always am like kind of jealous about star trek world is that they've solved all of the that the, the, the diseases we have now yeah it's cancer all gone like yeah. all, all sort of mental disorders, like Alzheimer's or, you know, like neurological disorders, I should say, like, like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, et cetera, all gone. They figured yeah. it out in completely to the point where there's a scene in Star Trek four, um, uh, the Journey, movie, the movie. Yeah. Um, Bones is like casually like incognito trying to sneak through a hospital because he has to talk to someone and he walks by a guy who's like, oh, I'm dying. And then he goes, what's wrong? It's like, I have cancer. And they go. He goes barbarians and he just takes out a thing from his pocket, sticks him with it and his cancer's gone. And then he walks away. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so, so see, see, like, I feel like I used to be hardcore into like, well, I could live in a world like star Wars, you know, like you got like, you're basically like, it's a Western samurai world. Basically mm. there's mm-hmm. outlaws, uh, but there's too much stuff to like, you're like, oh, someone's going to take my shit. I don't like, want to live in Star pir- Wars world. Fucking space nah. pirates. Right. And like, it, there's too many rules. There's too many religions, dude. <laughs> it's in, run in down and like one yeah. family is ruining everyone's shit yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. And like one family and Hitler. Yeah. Ruining and, everything. And I don't want to live in a world where people yeah. can like shoot lightning at me. Like with, yeah, the, yeah. I don't know. Let's no. get None away. Other, from, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, those druggies can can fill you with lightning if they want. They had to get yeah. really close, and even then, yeah. it was more of a vibration. <laughs> yeah. Like Picard, like Riker, just said, "Ooh, my insides feel funny." Like that's all he felt. You know, he kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, like he was but smiling. Like in Star yeah. Trek, in Star Trek, the, you got you got fuck planets. You got the best weed in the world. You got a replicator that if you if you tweak it correctly, it'd probably give you some really good tacos, dude. Oh, uh, well. Sure. Dude, if you, you probably get if, at least like 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 a good like Taco Bell or Chipotle consistently. You that's know? fine, dude. I'll yeah. take some Taco Bell, dude. Yeah, I fucking uh, take some Taco Bell. Yeah, if it can get uh, especially McDonald's if it doesn't give you diarrhea, while you think, not killing you. I'm fine <laughs> you think, with it. You think yeah. Taco Bell in the future still gives you the shits? <laughs> Well, that's the only the, thing they couldn't fix. Well, well, no, well the no, sonic showers will take care of anything. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it doesn't even matter. You have man. the two options. It's the it's the <laughs> modern version or the classic version. And the classic <laughs> yeah. version will give you the shits for the authentic yeah. feel. You're like, you're like, if you want it to be authentic, you're not only does it taste better, but it's gonna burn yeah. your butt. 
Oh, it's that future yeah. warped version of authentic because that's like authentic Mexican food in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> authentic fake Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no fake anymore. It's just this forgotten. Is, this is also a, a Demolition Man episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, yeah, there's the fish out of water and, yeah. but, but antagon- antagonistic about it. It's not yeah. like. I mean, also the Futurama yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, that that businessman guy is that businessman character from Futurama who had bonitis. Yeah, and all the these people are, are Philip J. Fry. Yeah. Ding, 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 So, so the wife's, the housewife is like, I don't, I can't fucking fathom this. Yeah. Why sure. would my husband do this? She felt, she feels betrayed. And then she, she goes, so what about that, that, uh, She's like, oh, so what? Who, what's this guy here? He looks different, and they're like, <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a, he's an android, and he's like a robot, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess he's, he's sure he's a robot, yeah. and and she's like, and what about the man from the <laughs> room? The, and, and then she didn't want to say it, and he's yeah. like, oh, or if he's a Klingon, uh, and he's like, that's much more harder to explain. Uh, so. <laughs> Basically, they tell him like, "Hey, all your your ailments are gone. You're 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 alive. This is the future. Uh, just be cool. Like that's really the only thing. Like just fucking be cool, just dude. Chill Don't be an the asshole. Fuck out. Don't be an just asshole. Chill the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. All, yeah. all the all time of, in the world to figure out the rest of your all goddamn of your life. needs will be filled out. Yeah. Don't worry. Like just um, chill. And so basically, it's been 370 years. It says. It yeah, really that's, says. A, that's about right. Yeah, yeah. They're about yeah. Um, yeah, and she's like, so she, so all her her kids are all her family is dead, dude. Mm. It's a couple of generations in, and so the housewife is really like just depressed, really. Yeah, um, understandably so. Yeah, yeah, I I get it. I get like she didn't choose this. Not like the other two people. Like she mm-hmm. really was. She literally like literally was was in her world or her timeline and blinked and out. She into this literally one. blinked out of existence and then woke up in the future. Yeah. That's gotta be a fucked up thing, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But George Jones is like fine. And the rich guy, he wants a wall street journal and he wants to <laughs> make a phone call to, yeah. to Geneva yeah. to, to join his money. <laughs> and they're like, and like someone should just tell him like, fuck, it doesn't matter. You fucking need plus your bank's gone, dude. There's more yeah. banks, dude. Yeah. He's uh, like, oh, money- I could have enough money to buy this whole ship. It's like yeah, he assumed he was Philip J. Fry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With that bank yeah, account yeah. that's just been accumulating interest for <laughs> thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, so he wants to talk to the captain as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're, they're fucking idiots, but I really like these characters. And then <laughs> there's a scene with Deanna Troy and the uh, Captain McCarr where they talk about the Romulans and you know how to deal with them and you know what, it, what the little she knows about them. And then there's a scene. We go back to the the, the people out of time people, mm-hmm. and uh, Data punches in the thing on the on the replicator, and he asks the guy George Jones asked for a fucking. Uh, he first he asked for a Kansas City steak, a yeah, thick Kansas City steak, and he's like, no, cancel it. I want a martini with two olives, and uh, I like that his justification. He's like, oh, for the you know for the vegetables, the vitamins. For the vitamins, yeah, vitamins. Right, right, right. Yeah. And he, and Data's like sure, <laughs> and so it appears he drinks it, and he it's like the best martini he's ever had. Yeah, um, yeah. which is interesting. So like the replicator not only makes a drink, but it also makes a glass. Yeah, it can make mm-hmm. anything. The replicator so, can make so, literally anything. So they have to constantly recycle shit, basically, because you can't just throw away the stuff. Yeah. So what happens is they have like a store of matter, and what I think I don't I don't I remember reading about this, but I don't know how canon it is. I believe what happens is that when you shit, all that shit is collected and used as part of this matter for the replicator and any waste Mm. product created elsewhere in the shit. Like there's some waste, like paper, some papers here and there. Yeah. Oh, a thing broke. Just put it in the matter pile. Wait, 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 how are they using paper? I I don't remember. Like there are some instances where they might use paper. Uh, well, the menus are see-through. There's no paper. Yeah, that's true. Well, you whatever, think somebody's using sticky notes? Dude? <laughs> well, whatever, whatever things that, you know they they use that's disposable. That they use, yeah. but just... they do have like massive trees on board because they are ready to chuck them at crystalline entities. Yeah, I well, I assumed that was replicated to some extent because they can replicate. So if they like, were able to replicate a tree. They should be able to replicate or replicate paper at will, also. Yeah, they I could, guess so. Yeah, they can replicate paper and like I, they can replicate like cheese, and cheese is technically also alive. It's got you know bacteria in it. 
So it's true, I guess. Yeah, you know, I I don't know what the limits of creating life out of the replicator is. And uh, so we'll, how we'll never they get just to can't? It. Why can't they just replicate a fucking pair of eyes and put them on fucking Jordy's fucking face? <laughs> why can't because they do because that? Because the producers wanted Jordy to look cool <laughs> and have a disability. <laughs> That's why yeah, bullshit, dude. Yeah, uh, a disability so, that makes him super strong and powerful, but also gives, gives him, him constant pain. Predator vision. Yeah. Uh, so the George Jones character, he's like, "Ooh, I like this replicator thing." He's like, "Put on the Braves game." He's like, All right, "They're probably," <laughs> <laughs> and I like this because it's a it's a real whoever wrote this is got to be a Braves fan because yeah. there, there's like a there's like an in in joke where he says, "I want to see how the Braves are doing." And he says, uh, probably still <laughs> finding ways to lose. Yeah. <laughs> and that's every Braves fan that I know, like they, they acknowledge like, Hey, they lose all the time. They're always fucking it up. <laughs> and I feel like <laughs> only a Braves fan would yeah. know to put that joke in there. Yeah. Or unless prob- they're a really big baseball fan. Then. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it did yeah. seem, it did, it did seem pretty yeah. inside to be like, yeah. 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 So uh, he wants to turn on TV basically. And, and uh, Riker's like, yeah, we don't have TV, dude. Like, that was like a short-lived thing. Like, turns out- Which like, is yeah, hilarious to-, to say on a television show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Star Trek stopped being a show in 2040. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's really weird. It's really weird. Streaming took over. I mean, that's actually probably what's going to happen by 2040. We probably what? will no longer have broadcast television and there will no. only be streaming services. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's actually pretty prescient. That's about to happen, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But we got to find a better way to. It's too much. There's too much compression on these fucking things, dude. You think we just don't give a shit anymore? And they're like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, it the average consumer like does not give a shit. Like yeah. they don't. Like like the vast majority of consumers could not tell the difference between 4K Netflix and 1080p. To be fair, a lot of 4K Netflix was upresed from 2K, mm, yeah. so like yeah. it mm-hmm. wasn't a great. But not a lot of it's true 4K now. But a lot of yeah. consumers still don't can't tell the difference, so they never turn it on. So it's good like, enough God rules the day. Yeah, th- yeah, exactly. Convenience always rules the day over quality. Yeah, and that's why television was so powerful back in the day. Because even though the westerns on television were far inferior to what was in theaters, hey, it's already home. Like, I don't, yeah, need, I don't yeah. need to go out to a theater and watch it. So uh, streaming is, is cause, cause, cause now people are getting pissed that the show they want to watch isn't just available now. Like, yeah, if, if they have TV, cause like I notice, um, uh, cause my, uh, my partner's, uh, brother, Omar, uh, he got YouTube, uh, YouTube TV mm-hmm. and it's, and mm-hmm. it's like a, it was like a weird experience for him. Cause he's just like, I, I'm just watching stuff and like, I can't like. But he can't manipulate it. Yeah, you, you can pause it and feed. DVR it, but it's not even then though. It's not like oh, I missed part of the show. It's like you can't go back or like yeah. You know, so it's it's a weird feeling uh, to have to live that way. Also, but I think releasing thing episodically is not a bad thing. Like I know they tried it with WandaVision, mm-hmm. uh, so people wouldn't just buy it for a week and then cancel it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but I think it works because it not only I feel like it helps the general public digestion keep, keep, yeah and also keep from spoiling things because oh yeah that too. there's a lot of things where you're like well i have to watch it this fucking weekend because uh, mm. someone on facebook is going to spoil it even though you could just not go on facebook that could be that could be an option i but, do think wandavision was a bad example of it though for that because yeah. i would because- say like the biggest phenomenon that was like on a week by week basis like that was probably game of thrones that's an excellent yeah, yeah. show to yeah. have done that way i think that's like yeah. a, one of the best examples you could choose for that or like yeah. a breaking bad like a breaking bad coming out episodically every mm-hmm. week was mm-hmm. really good um yeah. but i think like wandavision because they were so short and honestly i didn't mind it i didn't mind waiting I, also like it 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 helped me catch up and not be like, oh, I have to binge watch the whole thing because someone's going to spoil the end for me. Yeah, like that's I bi- the uh, part like, I, like Sarah and I binge watched the whole thing at once, and we were like, mm-hmm. man, if we had to wait every week for an episode because so little happens in the first yeah. few episodes, I would have been so frustrated. I would have been like, that was yeah. it. Okay, I'll move on. It's like how I, the boys when second season came out, they released like the first two episodes or something, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. I think that was a good move. And then they did it episodically. I was like, that's pretty okay. Nice. I, that what well, WandaVision did that, I think that would have worked better. Cause yeah. the, the, a lot of the spoilery stuff, if you want to avoid it is later, yeah, yeah, then you could yeah. pace it out more. But I, don't I, know, that's just I dug the WandaVision just because like, 
it was 30 minutes. I didn't have to like, and my kid could sit through it and like mm. not, and he'd be like, oh, it's fine. Like, and not like, cause if it was like two hours or we had to binge watch it, like he would never sit through it. And we'd be like, right, right. gotta wait till this guy falls asleep or <laughs> give him some day quilt or night quilt. <laughs> um, so well, back to the episode. Get Disney plus. Yeah. It's the next, and it's funny from now on, we're only going to have like a week or two off if, between shows. Yeah. So we're doing like back to back to Captain, yeah, Fal- this, uh, Captain Falcon. <laughs> Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Falcon Captain. and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I mean, yeah. That should be his actual name once he <laughs> yeah. picks up a shield. Captain Falcon. <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. That's cool. Um, yeah. It's fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a scarf. Um, yeah. And then, and then so like they all are like, so like the easiest guy to, to please is George Jones in the show. Like, cause I, he's, he's like, the only human I kind of like yeah like, yeah he all he mm-hmm. wants to do is like he's like dude you could you've, you've solved cirrhosis of the liver i'm fucking happy this yeah. is when i froze so, myself i i could drink now all the time yeah, and not worry yeah. about yeah. um and i just like to get a, a couple of low mileage pit wolfies if you know <laughs> what i mean what and, is and, that i'm actually not sure what that meant either do you know i think they're whores Okay, okay. They have to be whores. <laughs> okay, like, I try to break it down. Low mileage would mean, like, uh, you know, fairly fresh, not, like... They haven't had that old, many customers. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not okay. old, like, not not old and busted. Yeah. Um, pit woofies? That sounds like bitches. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. Mmm, woofy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, like yeah. a pit bull, but... Yeah. Maybe, I don't you know. You know what would have been cool if they unfroze it? If they unfroze George, well, the musician guy, and he's like, ah, oh, finally, I'm, I'm frozen. <laughs> Since your voice <laughs> went higher, I thought you were about to do a Rita Repulsa impression. After five thousand years, I'm free. After five times. Oh, my God. If, if she did that in, in one of the intros... <laughs> I would fucking lose it. She just starts like like shuffling off screen. Uh, I want to thank you, Ricardo, for bringing this 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 stupid joke to our podcast because I love it. I love it. Did we ever story. explain it on the podcast? I don't think we did. So kind like, of, we're, sorta. We're, we're, I mean, you just I, said I it we, came from we, work. I, I think yeah. So like this is this is how it worked. I for some reason I. The first time it happened was somebody had a song stuck in their head and they're like, God damn it. I can't think of this song. And it goes like this. Blah. And they kept like coming in and I was like, I don't care. And, and then like, I'm like, Hey dude, did it sound like this? And then it, cause I knew it was a completely wrong song. Yeah. And he's like, Oh, wh- what do you have? Did you figure it out? I'm like, yeah, this is it. Right. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, then, it's like a slightly classier Darud Sandstorm yeah, joke, yeah. <laughs> or a Rick Roll. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, then and then, and then so, every yeah. time somebody would come in and I didn't like what they were saying, I'd just play it. Like if somebody came in, like, "Hey, someone's got to work late. There's OT tonight." I can't hear you. And then another joke would be like, "It, it doesn't go louder." Like yeah. it'd be like, lower it, lower it. It doesn't go any louder. <laughs> lower it. It doesn't. It, I'm at 10. <laughs> that reminds me of a Jack Handy quote that says, I bet if you're an old, a guy in the medieval times with uh, and you're the catapult operator, I bet everyone asks you, does a catapult shoot any farther? No, that's as far as a catapult shoots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm shooting as far as I can. It only has um, one distance, asshole. Uh, technically, catapults <laughs> don't. They would put um, a piece of rope on it that holds the, the amount it can move. Don't ruin the joke. <laughs> yeah, dude, come on, dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> um, so, so it could have been the 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 old timey singer, but no, it's George Jones, and he's like, "Hey, let's get some whores. We got some booze." And he he takes a liking to fucking Data. It's his friend, dude. He's like, I, I "Yeah, found that's a he loves how he loves the Android. I love I love that he's totally down for anything. Yeah, and, yeah. and he's just like, "Dude, you're you're sick." Beverly Crusher, you're you're a hot doc. Although he yeah. does grab her ass, which is not great. Yeah, but yeah that's, that's not good. <laughs> it was all out in his time, dude. Uh, <laughs> and he's so, basically thinking like, well, the Jetsons are real now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's basically yeah, what he's doing. Yeah. He's he like, has that point of reference in his mind. He's just like, well, fine, fuck it. I'm I'm going with it. Yeah. yeah. It's the future, just like yeah. they predicted. Yeah. 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 Um, 
And so uh, you have you have the, like they're like, hey, the Romulans are fucking. They're everyone's scared of the fucking Romulans, dude. And it's like, who the fuck cares? You're just fucking. Let's go in there, guns a blazing, dude, and shoot these fuckers out of the air, dude. Uh, <laughs> that's what I say. But you know, uh, who am I to judge? Uh, and th- they're everyone seems really like like tense about this. This yeah. meeting with they could they could bump into them, and the Romulans have this this cloaking technology that they might have improved, and like everyone's scared. The of reason thing. why they're scared is because the Romulans are very very dangerous. Like because of their cloaking, like the the a uh, a Romulan warbird is extremely dangerous because it it can cloak because um it's very powerful. Um, that's why they're why scared. We, why don't we just steal a fucking one of those things, figure out the technology, put it on the fucking enterprise. Because they, they can't, they're, 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 they're way too good. Like, that's one of the things oh, like, God. imagine like, like you have all imagine, of- imagine dragons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I will. <laughs> I will. So the Romulans have these dragons and <laughs> These dragon yeah, warbirds, war, oh, yeah, war, war, dragons, war dragons, yeah. and yep. uh, yeah, they're very strong. Okay, I get it now. Like they're they're just they're tough dudes. They're like boss level shit. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the the, the introduction of the Romulans is supposed to be for fans of the original show. Because if you remember the original show, you'd be like, mm-hmm. oh shit, the Romulans are back, and we're seeing them on on TNG for the first time. Okay. And it's supposed to be like a really big. That's why the cloaking so to, to had all me, these different angles okay. and all this shit. To me, I, I, this is new for me. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, fucking beat up these fucking Klingons, dude. Yeah. Or not another. Um, what's Spock? He's a Vulcan. 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 Beat up yeah. these Vulcans, dude. <laughs> uh, but no, but no. So, um, so the rich guy, he gets on the comms. <laughs> he like hijacks the yeah. communications. He's like, fucking. he's like, this is what I want. I want a fucking phone, a radio, whatever you guys have, a ham radio. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk to Geneva. I want to <laughs> find out where my sto- where my stocks are. And the the fucking the housewife is like, she's just depressed, dude. She's fucking wrecked, dude. Yeah. And this guy's talking about her eyes stocks. Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I got a lot of offshore fucking money. I got a lot of stuff in fucking tax havens that I need to get my hands on. Uh, for what? I don't know. Like he could. Li- he's literally in space. Instead of going like, wait a minute, fuck, dude, we're in different planets, and if money doesn't matter, I can just go wherever the fuck I want. Yeah, like they uh, but he explains it later. over that craziness, like yeah. without ever mentioning it, it's like, well, first of all, you're in fucking space, dude. Yeah. 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 Second, no one even acknowledges this. I, I wish someone yeah. would just tell him, hey, your money doesn't matter, but you're still allowed to do a lot of things without money. Like you, a lot of the things you want to do are still possible. You yeah. just don't need money to do it anymore. Well, I mean, th- th- this character actually does kind of give you some insight into his like motivation and psyche by saying like it's not about accumulation, it's about power. Right, I guess so. Yeah, he's basically yeah, an and, asshole. But but like, uh, but but I don't I, maybe I don't understand it because it's like yeah, I get it like like power gives you the opportunity to do things, but now you can do those things without you know? without having to attain power in a shitty way. Yeah. Well, okay. It's not about what I am personally capable of doing. I think it's more about the power he imagines he can exert over others by yeah, being better I, than them. I think that's exactly having more right. than they do and um, having access to more things yeah. than they would. You're, you're it's exactly just a shitty right. person thing. He's just a shitty yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has no yeah. redeeming qualities, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Riker yeah. said, said as much. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because Because I'm thinking like, if I just break down, like why? Why would I want more money? Well, it's just so like just kind of hang out and like just do what I want to do and do what I want to do. Yeah, not Basically. worrying about my job anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just we could do all the seasons of every Star Trek podcast <laughs> all at once, all day. Yeah, yeah. buy the best weed at <laughs> Ease. Ease dot we'll com. Buy do the you sponsorship love from Ease, Ease and yeah. force them to spot? We'll pay we them. Will, we to will buy the podcast. <laughs> yeah, and we'll do it from Ease headquarters. <laughs> Uh, we'll buy and then, ease and then who will be laughing then and then you can yeah. ma- then buy ease products at newbiestartrek.com yes <laughs> yep and then i can imagine dragons uh so <laughs> No, so you I really shouldn't have put please, this please, in here. Please, I know, dude. please don't, please don't make that a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to make it a thing. I just wanted to put. I, I just wanted that one first line. Oh no! <laughs> That's oh, it. So, so, um, so finally, Picard shows up and he he talks to the rich guy and he's like, he's like, hey, uh, I. He's like Picard's like, do not get on the fucking radio, dude. First of all, <laughs> firsties, don't do that, dude. You firsties, piece of shit. Yeah. And he's like, 
he's like, he's like, well, then why don't you put a, an executive key on that thing? And he's like, because we c- we can exert fucking. <laughs> So yeah, everybody in the ship you knows. Fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, and have the everyone has self control. We're decent people shit. in the future, and we yeah. follow rules. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can we can trust people not to use the thing when they don't have an emergency. Our children fucking, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that does it is Wesley, and he's a piece of shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where he pretends to be me. Um, <laughs> so he's like, he's like, hey. Um, he ba- the, he basically breaks down of like the thing where he's like, hey, the whole conversation we had with whether he just wants power, basically. But it's really weird. Like, uh, do we ever go back to these people? No, no, they're gone. Because I, I wish we did. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it, it, really, it, would, it would be nice yeah, to it check be really, in on yeah, them. It might be like really a, interesting. Yeah, like a yeah. restaurant impossible. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How did these guys do? That's yeah. true. In the future. Yeah, yeah. Where like you, you, you show back up, like, or even if like, we just had an Animal House style, like textual, like yeah. this is what happened to them at the <laughs> yeah. end. And yeah. then he he turned in Mr. Glass. It turns out he had superpowers. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I really want to know what they did. It like because that's a very this this is why I like this episode so much because it's a very interesting concept. You take people, it's a fish out of water story, and then you don't pay it off. And that's what I don't like about this fucking episode. Well, that's a thing. Like the 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 episode desperately wants the main focus of it to be the Romulan issue, yeah. but it starts off with them doing this plot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the rest of the episode is them trying to push that plot away yeah. and keep doing the Romulan plot. So it's yeah. almost like half of the episode is trying to keep itself interesting. And the other half is desperately trying to be ignored. And it's like, yeah, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with this a, a and B plot. They don't relate at all. For example, yeah, like I yeah. get it. I get like the converse vibe from that or from this episode. I get the feeling that like this um, fish out of water, like pe- people out of time stuff is what they really like what they ended up focusing more on. And they had a lot of like more like content for because the Romulan stuff is like they don't know much. They're just kind of coming up against it. Like every time they revisit it, it's just the same general like tenseness. I again. guess so. Yeah. And I, I, so I, I guess I don't I, know. If it, it feels like like the reintroduction of the Romulans is kind of like, hey, here's the hook. They're yeah. they're back. I, yeah, people. I think I think I'm viewing it more in the perspective of like for a fan for a season finale. Well, that's exactly what I mean. What what I mean is that like um they seem to be using the Romulans as the hook to get you interested. And meanwhile, what we'd rather tell you is like check out these three people. Yeah, yeah. those three people should have been its own episode. Yeah, like that you could because yeah. you could very easily make a long, interesting episode that is just this plot. Yeah. And in my all- mind, this episode's kind of like, hey, someone dies. Uh, you know, like the Romulans reappearing is like, is the, hey, someone dies. And the someone that dies is just some side character that no one cared about. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why this, this is, not only is this a season finale, but it's a season finale written this way. This is why I thought last week's episode, Conspiracy, was much more of like a season finale-ish episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, well definitely. They should have, they should have flip-flopped them because it would have worked a bit better. Yeah. And, and you would have been like, what's going to happen next season? Are we going to have butt worms everywhere? What's, yeah, because you're going to end it with a shot of them like go, panning up to a really nice, pretty shot of space, but it's ominous. Yeah. So it's yeah. like... That's inter- I mean, like, you know, like even with that switcheroo, dude, it, it dude, wouldn't have been paid off. <laughs> release the Snyder Cut of fucking Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, where all the CG so, uh, looks worse. <laughs> Are Brad it's, Spiner it's, and Patrick Stewart available to reshoot everything? Yeah, yeah. It's a four hour long episode. Uh, so, uh, th- so Deanna Troy, Picard's like, hey, Deanna Troy, go, ch- go check out this lady. She's really depressed because she didn't want to do this. She wanted to die. Uh, help her out. See what you could do. So she goes over there and tries to help her. And she's like, oh, you shrink. Uh, and Deanna Troy doesn't get it. Doesn't get that 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 vernacular. And then she's like, yeah. well, how about if I help you l- see your, like, your ancestors, your, not ancestors. Descendants. Future. Uh, Descendants. Progeny. Yes. Yeah. Both of them. And so yeah. they, they look them up and like. They they track down all her great 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 grandson right yeah and he looks he apparently looks like her husband Donald Donald Trump looks like an orange piece of shit yeah um so uh she's she kind of gets happier at least knowing like oh I think the not knowing was scaring her like not knowing and having nobody now in yeah she had no grounding because she because she was just a housewife 
So and, her, and her it was world a snap was very, too. Yeah, and her world was very small, and suddenly yeah. it became groundless. And like, and then she says, like, "I miss my kids." Like, yeah. And I could imagine that's insane. Like, you, you, it's like imagine like, oh, you fainted or like going to sleep, and then like you wake up and your your kids are dead, your wife is dead, your grandkids are dead, your great grandkids are dead, their kids are dead. Yeah. And maybe down the line, people that you don't know that you're so disconnected to might be still alive. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it is a very crazy, interesting concept. And again, this is why I like this episode. You're, you're dealing with some very radical concepts that I really fucking enjoy. And so he, she, she gives him the date of birth of her, her, her kids and the computer finds them and she, she shows them pictures of, of their kids. And the idea for her is for her to go to earth and eventually like meet her, her great, great. Yeah. In Indiana kids. somewhere. Yeah. 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 And so, and then you have the country singer who like goes to, to Beverly Crusher and he's just trying to get drugs. Yeah. And, and she's like, no, I'm not gonna give you drugs. You're perfectly fine. If you needed them, I would give you drugs, but you don't need them. So get the fuck out of here. And he's like, ah, it's fine. I'll, I'll look for that, that, uh, strange looking face dude. And yeah. maybe he could find me some drugs. He'll make me and drugs. He, <laughs> yeah. He'll make me drugs. <laughs> yeah. Though you think, you think the replicator could make you drugs? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure. Because we talked about like, weed, but like, but like, what if you're like, hey, get, make me some heroin? Because uh, you can't die in this in this world. I know, like, I know the, there. I know the, the replicator has security back. precautions built in. Like, it won't make weapons, for example. Hmm. Um, because, but they you have can a, use any. You can use a cucumber as a weapon if you use it the right <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything can be a weapon if you're angry enough. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, Nacho yeah. Libre proved this fucking corn, <laughs> corn, the cob in the eye, dude. Uh, so yeah, so so he just wants drugs and and he can't get them, so he squeezes her butt and moves along, and then he goes to talk to Data and he's like, hey, let's get some let's get some hooch going. Uh, so Moon Hooch, yeah, uh, MoonHooch dot com, great band. Uh, <laughs> gets get some hooch going and and let's get some people, let's round up some people and have a party. You know, and and he just wants to party. Like I like this guy. This guy's philosophy is like, hey, no, He's I'm not bored. dying. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he wants like, to. He wants to fully take advantage of what the future has to offer. And yeah, I yeah. fully agree. You know, I fully it's agree the wrong with him timing. But, yeah, right. yeah, but you but know. look, but look, but even he's got he the right idea. Up a little like yeah. once he realizes yeah. that yeah. like that's things the, are afoot. That's what makes me yeah. really like him. Yeah, yeah, he reacts appropriately to the situation. Yeah, which is like, so yeah. And, and, and like good. Data, does, the, data doesn't even directly tell him. Data just says, "Sorry, something's come up," and he says, "What's come up?" He's like, "We're entering a neutral zone, the Romulans." He's like, "That sounds bad." I guess I guess I should calm down. Like he's he's actually yeah. really cool. Like I I, yeah. I really like that reaction from him. Yeah, yeah. like and from there on, he's like, let them do their fucking jobs, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. He yeah. becomes a voice of reason up for this group. Yeah, which it's is really crazy. Great. That I would never have thought George Jones would have been there, <laughs> but he is. And the guy who plays George Jones, oh fuck me, dude. Uh, my my father-in-law said was telling me about god damn it now i forgot dude i'm too fucking high right now um <laughs> he 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 like he gave me a a, a trivia fact about one of the episodes the one of mm -hmm. the actresses in one of the previous episodes like maybe an episode or two ago was a fa some famous person oh she was from the mamas and the papas i think oh one okay of the, cool, cool, cool one okay. of the actresses and she's like oh this is interesting trivia and and i didn't know and i was i was like oh that's fucking interesting if we would have brought it up during the episode, but I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so um, he listens to every episode. Uh, oh. And uh, no, 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 not in a bad way. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I've said horrible things on here. Oh, no, okay no, no. This. I mean, no, I'm just like, oh, he listens. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I I have that. And, and uh, for this guy, this guy who plays the George Jones um, character, he's a character actor that you've seen in a bunch of things. A bunch yeah, he has of a things. very familiar face. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's one of those character actors. Uh, his name is uh, Leon Rippey and he okay. was in Deadwood. He was uh, in Stargate, the Patriot. He's, he's on like every TV show that you, that you could think of. Mm, um, okay, okay. Is he still alive? Uh, he is. He is. He's still alive. Cool. Cool. Uh, but yeah, this, this is, this is when I saw him. I'm like, I recognize cause he's got that Southern accent that you can't miss. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've seen this guy in a bunch of things. Oh, so that's his actual accent. Like he... that's his actual accent. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Um, so then um he was in Universal Soldier, remember? He played one of the doctors in Universal Soldier. Oh, I don't I don't recognize him from that. Um he's the guy that that he he tells um one of the guys the the lieutenant wants you to hold his grenade for ten seconds and then let it go. Because he wants to kill the Universal Soldiers. And then he's trying to pull his hand, but the the soldier has 
like his hand in the grenade and he oh, blows up. Oh, he's oh, he was that guy. Okay. He's I, a doctor. He's one of the doctors. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um anyway, back to the episode. <laughs> Sorry. I got really No, I love you. Know, it's Ricardo, Van Damme, dude. Ricardo, don't you dare fucking apologize, you motherfucker. Dude, Van Damme, if Van Damme was in here, dude, it'd be over. I'd be <laughs> I'd be I switch over from Star Star Wars over to Star Trek. <laughs> get a Star Trek tattoo on my fucking leg. Uh but no. Uh, so anyway, uh, you have, you have the, the crew that they're, they're approaching the, the destroyed outpost and they can't find it. It's clearly been destroyed and they're kind of just cruising and figuring out, but I get it like for fans of the show, like they're like, Oh, this, these Romulans are coming back and the, the ships and blah, blah, blah. But for me, it was like, eh, who the fuck cares? I'm more interested in these people that like, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of tell not show. Which makes yeah. it not mm-hmm. very compelling. Yeah, and like you don't see them being threatening or anything. I, like, yeah, the ship comes out of nowhere, and I, I imagine for like fans of the show that saw the f- the original series, they were like, mm. "What the fuck?" And it's like an upgraded warbird. So, it, like, yeah, it, fa- fans of the show who have like you know poured over all the warboard warboards, uh, the warbirds originally look like in the original so- the show, they would have been like, "Oh my god, it's an upgraded one. It looks super cool now." It's like, you know, yeah, yeah, but to me, it was like, eh, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's fine, it's got predator vision, it could, it yeah. could, it could, it could, it could uh, predator technology it just disappear. I get it, it's fine. Um, it looks okay. Uh, but then you you have another scene with just the the resurrected, as I call them, <laughs> uh, and it's just them three talking, and they you find out that data made uh, the George Jones character a guitar, yeah, he made him a guitar, which the is decals. really cool, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and a custom nice. strap yeah. and all that, yeah. yeah. And and he basically the rich guy is like just giving his rant about like how he he spent all his life accumulating all this, this, this basically his money, yeah, and like he's he he hates that, like he doesn't have he's powerless in this fucking world mm-hmm. and in the ship, he has no power. Uh, so he's like, I, I must talk to the captain and he's like, I know what I'll do. I'll just fucking go and talk to him. Uh, which is a real dickish thing to do. Even like in this day and age, like oh, yeah. imagine if you're like, Hey, uh, you wake up and you're like, you're a patient in like, a no, he's being in, Karen prime right now. Yeah. Oh, fuck oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. He's, he's, he busted he up. Let me talk to, to your manager. manager. Let me yeah. talk to your manager. Yeah. yeah. From the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he skipped all the steps and went straight to manager. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He demanded service of the highest quality yeah. as, as, yeah. as if he was on the queen Elizabeth, the yeah. second. Um, so he gets to the, the elevator, the, the turbo left or whatever it's called. And he doesn't know how to use it. And finally he's like, where's the captain? And the, the computers like speaks to him like, Oh, the captain would be in the bridge. And he's like, yeah. well, take me there. And he uh, he rolls up onto the bridge, and he rolls up in in the exact same time as that they made contact yeah. with the Romulans. All of this really bothers. me. I'm sorry. It's just this <laughs> me really too. bothers me because it's like one. Yeah. Couldn't you just put a guard in front of yeah. the people like their room? Yeah, they, just and to be they like, always do this. They do always do that. Yeah, like just just be like, sir, you gotta stay put. Yeah, and if you don't want to stay put, I have a phaser. So yeah. <laughs> you know, and also, why is anyone allowed to just show up on the bridge? Like the bridge should be the, like, oh, we're in yellow alert. Authorized personnel yeah. only can take a turbo lift. You know, it's like, yeah. Well, also, uh, can Riker's anybody just show up? Gone to explain how the comms are kind of on an honor system. Yeah, the turbo lifts probably are also. What? But the, yeah. why would? Uh, <laughs> I get it. Hey, but people like, are better it, in the future, Marvin. In you yellow have to realize alert, this. Like, people uh, are better in the future. Yeah, but if you if you can't lock it down in the middle of an emergency, that means if the ship got taken over, like the bad guys could just get around however they like. Well, that's where drama uh, comes from, Marvin. <laughs> yeah. Um and and then so he shows up on the bridge and he, he he first of all, he's he he demands he like just fucking out has an outburst. Yeah. And then the captain's like, "Fucking somebody get this fucker out of here, dude." Yeah. And they go to 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 get him out and I'm like please give them a reason and just beat the shit out of this guy dude <laughs> give him a good old bridge beat down yeah. uh, <laughs> and so then the uh, the sh- the ship the Romulan ship appears and it's like oh it's green ooh it's got green lights oh look how cool it is and it disappears uh, and it's got upgraded technology oh, but for yeah. me it, it means nothing it means like <laughs> okay 
There's some fucking it showed up. Some yeah. s- spark people yeah. that, that like are pissed and they don't know how to ask for things because they they're very fragile <laughs> and yeah, uh, their egos are and, very fragile. Yeah. But but <laughs> the the rich guy does intervene because like they're kind of skirting around the the. So basically, this is this is what how it breaks down. The the Romulans and the Federation are both looking for missing like people. Mm-hmm. And missing uh, like stations or ships. Yeah, the outposts aren't just being destroyed; they're being like yeah. literally lifted up wholesale and yeah. gone completely missing somehow. Like, yeah, uh, you know what? That's a detail that like I kind of forgot about. Yeah, that, that's interesting. There's no destruction; that has, isn't explained. Yeah, either there's, there's the like, like they, and they these Worf specifically scans for like signs of weapons or anything, and he's like, "There's no signs of destruction at all." It's like they just lifted the whole thing out and took it. Like yeah. a bunch of like, these, like a like a Thanos snap. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. More Thanos. Mm-hmm. Imagine if this was in the same universe and half of them fucking disappeared. <laughs> be great. Uh, <laughs> somebody else would step in. There's more room uh, in the Enterprise. Yeah, and and so the rich guys like they're they're too they're too proud to ask for like that you know like he he kind of translates an arrogant talk. Yeah, you know? that's his only redeeming quality is that he has the same shitty personality as a Romulan. Yeah, and yeah. Really just read him and you like, can relate. Yeah. Yeah. Takes one to know one situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I still hate that they just left him on the bridge. Like, yeah, the captain just told you to get this guy the fuck out of here. Yeah, and you yeah. just not only are they, are they not doing anything, but they let him go. They let go of his arm. Yeah, they, they so just start just watching like, the screen like, oh my yeah, god, like, Romulans. Oh god, this Romulans. can wait. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this, this guy who could really fuck things up for us yeah. who's on the bridge. We'll just let him wait. Uh, so you see the Romulans, and yeah, they look they, they look like Spock people uh, with fancy outfits, and, and the room is really smoky. They, they yeah, have evil they must makeup. Smoke, yeah. Yeah, they must smoke a lot of it's weed. Just more wrinkles, man. Yeah, <laughs> that weed is filled. It's like it's just more wrinkles, dude. Yeah, so yeah. much smoke in that fucking that bridge of the yeah. of the the the. A lot of ship. enemy ships is, are filled with smoke. That's how you know they're evil ships. They just fill they just fill them with a smoke machine. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. just token up all the time. <laughs> yeah, dude. So then, like, basically, they negotiate. They basically are like, "Hey, let's let's do this." We are not keeping any secrets. You're not keeping any secrets. We assume, but let's break it. Let's make a deal. Anything that we investigate that we find out, we'll let you know. And anything you investigate that you know, you'll let us know. But these fuckers are apparently they're notoriously for lying to people and double crossing people. So I don't know. I don't trust these dudes. I mean, even though I've never met them before, uh, this is the first time we're seeing them on this show. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but everyone I keeps saying like we them. don't trust them. Yeah. They're known for yeah. subterfuge and deception. So what well, Worf especially says this. And like he has yeah. personal beef with them, yeah, because yeah. they killed his family on the colony. Yeah, so yeah, and and, they, and then they kind of just brush him aside. Poor Worf. It's like yeah. just swallow your damn. Picard's pride, like, yeah. keep your emotions in check. And it's like, yeah, did, did, did kill his family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what if they killed your family, Picard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So they they take these uh the people who were snapped back into life. Uh, and they're like, hey, we're going to transfer over you to the USS Charleston. And oh, like, yeah. I brought this clip up. I brought this clip up because uh, I, I like Picard's general vibe with them. Again, he he just can't wait to get rid of these people. So Yeah. Here's what I propose. You can't stay on the Enterprise, but I have arranged for us to rendezvous with the USS Charleston bound for Earth. They will deliver you there. Then what will happen to us? There's no trace of my money. My office is gone. What will I do? How will I live? This is the 24th century. Material needs no longer exist. Then what's the challenge? Uh. The challenge, Mr. Offenhaus, is to improve yourself. To enrich yourself. Enjoy it. Well, one good thing is since everybody's forgotten everything I ever did, it'll all be brand spanking new. I'll be a bigger hit than I ever was. Perhaps so. Anything is possible. (laughs) What say, son? You'd make a hell of a side man. That offer does present a certain fascination. I would love 
like a side story, like an episode where Data yeah. was like a Captain, side arc where Cap- Data yeah. every so often has to leave the Enterprise to go on yeah. tour. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Like, like Captain, yeah. I've been invited oh, yeah. to they, go they on do, tour. They do virtual tours fr- from the bridge. They can oh, just do yeah, just hologram, hologram in. Holiday. Yeah, hologram yeah, yeah. in. Just, like, uh, like, 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 uh, like, like a rhinestone <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting there because he's got to, he's now got to learn how to live this world without, which, which really proves how shitty a person he is. Yeah. Because he's like, then what the fuck is the challenge of life? Yeah. If yeah, I can't yeah. shit on other people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like Picard is like basically says, here is the thesis of Star Trek. The thesis yeah, of Star Trek true. is to get better as a, per- yeah, as, yeah. as yourself. Be the best version of yourself as you can be. Because like Star yeah. Trek also says like oh, exploration, blah, blah, blah. But every time they meet a challenge or a problem, it's more about like be, like making things better than leaving, you know. So yeah. it's a, it's a yeah. good it's a good way to sum up, especially for Picard's version of Star Trek, what uh what what their goals are and what he and I guess it's sort of the start of an arc for this Enron guy, because he's like, okay, I guess I'll I won't be a shitty person. He at least isn't like just snapping and retorting at everything he says now. Yeah, like yeah. He's, he's starting to consider what it's he's starting to, to sink in that hey, you, your way of life um, is irrelevant. Yeah. And Although I am like kind of questioning um, what um, the George Jones guy Clemens said. It's like no, like it's been so long and nobody remembers me. But it's like there are logs. There, there's records. If you were a yeah. famous musician, your your music would be somewhere. Yeah, but uh, meaning like like data oh, should know him already. But I, I get it. Like basically, he's like he's like, hey, I could basically recycle my music, and then it's new to some people. Basically, right? True. I, true, I, true he true. wasn't like a huge like people we remember from three hundred, four hundred years ago were musicians that were dramatically, impressively known in their day. Like yeah. we don't remember the middling musicians of three hundred, four hundred years ago. Yeah, we're not gonna remember Chris Gaines. <laughs> So, so yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Chris Gaines. Yeah. So um, hey, who's that? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, who's so yeah, yeah. So he'll come back. Just to be clear, that wasn't a joke. I really don't know who that guy is. Oh, oh, this is well. This is here. Hold on. This, this is this is my joke. Uh, <laughs> Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. <laughs> Garth Brooks. Uh, this is the thing I have. I was going to make a fake documentary called "Searching for Chris Gaines." <laughs> I probably own that domain. Uh, so Garth Brooks was going to make a movie where he played like a singer and the mm-hmm. character's name was Chris Gaines. And before the filming ever started, he recorded a whole album called. Wait, wait. It's as a Chris Gaines. He recorded a whole wait, album. Wait, Chris Gaines Whoa. isn't real. No, no. Chris oh, Gaines isn't real. I thought he was, was just real. Yes. It's just Garth Brooks. I thought yeah. it was like a thing that was like in production with Garth Brooks or something. No, no, no. And, it, and then oh. they, they scrapped the movie and they never filmed it, but there's this album out there that I still own the CD for. And I, I don't like Garth Brooks, but I just like the idea that, that he recorded a whole album ready for like, like he's like, he committed, oh, he committed yeah, to like, the idea. Like he's yeah. like, he's basically, he was like, when this movie comes out, I'll record a second album. And like, it'll be like, there's stuff out there for this character. But they never filmed the movie. So there's an, there's an album, there's a Chris Gaines album, but literally I shit you not today. While we're recording this episode, uh, a mutual friend of ours, Adam, texted yeah. me and he's like, Garth Brooks just tweeted that, or someone just tweeted that they're gonna, there's unreleased Chris Gaines stuff that's going to be released soon. Oh my God. And I'm like, Damn. Yes. <laughs> like Tupac. Yeah, dude. Oh man. It's uh, exactly like Tupac. Exactly. <laughs> Chris um, Gaines isn't dead. Yeah. 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 He, well, no, he died in, a, in a long time ago. A real yeah, long time yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, <laughs> it's my favorite um, Dave Chappelle skit ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, skit, the, basically, skit. the, the, the episode kind of fucking ends and they, the, the, they agree to, to disagree and they yeah. just go on like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll touch base later. Let's see you guys later. Yeah. And then they don't really, yeah, the they, we don't have this speech of like, we're back. And then like, they try to yeah, like, and then no one kind of like, make a real, no one cares. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I fine. imagine like if you had cut, like 20 seconds later, it would have been really awkward because the Romulans are yeah. like, we're back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And transmission. And then they turn and fly away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like what else could they do? Cause nothing happened. They're, <laughs> like, they're like, they're like, well, that was great. Let's, yeah. let's move on. We made him scared. Um, we did a good yeah. job. 
Um, but we didn't find out what happened. What happened to the to, yeah. the, sh- to the ships? I guess it's it's the. It's I mean, they totally hammer. undermine the Romulans' reappearance right away by saying, like Picard says it in front of them to them. It's like this mute, like whatever's been stealing our shit is more powerful than either of us. Well, to a Star Trek fan, that's supposed to be like, whoa, that's crazy. Like, but yeah, to me, it's, but like, it's like it's like it's already introducing an unknown yeah. mystery threat that outclasses the Romulans. So what the fuck are they? Like, well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. They they do end up being a thing. So, so the Romulans yeah, I think there's a big old cube did. involved. <laughs> there's a big old cube in space. McDonald's. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. Uh. It's it's. What's his name? Benny. What? Benny something. Cubert. Uh. Well. Okay. Glenn Miller did in the mood. That's what you're always. That's that's what you're always humming. But Benny Goodman was like a a contemporary, like another swing guy. Glenn Glenn Miller is the guy. My guy. Yeah. You want Glenn Miller? Yeah. He's your dude. Because you're always in the mood to potty. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, look, I want to see more of the Roy Jones, uh, the George Jones character. I, uh, fuck, dude. he's fucking. Gone. I'm really pissed that we don't see anymore. Um, I mean, the actor's still alive, so maybe we could we get cast like, him in Picard. Like, yeah, no, dude. Picard. Bring Pick, him. If if he got, you don't want to cast him in Picard. If he got cast in Picard, he'd be a character who gets violently murdered. So. <laughs> You don't, you don't, uh-huh. you don't want them in that show. Don't put Dance. characters in Picard. If you put a character in Picard, they either die or become a murderer. Then put the rich oh. guy there. <laughs> so you don't, you know, yeah, you could do that with the rich guy. Yeah. Yeah. Put the rich guy in there, but the rich guy would probably end up being like, oh, I've become an admiral now or some shit. And then. So, uh, no, I, I, no, I, I kind of don't want to talk about this, but I do. And the creator <laughs> of the show is a shitty person but anyway um so would you say that like firefly and like those shows it's kind of like the fed when when the federation goes bad kind of no thing? firefly is a no? ripoff of cowboy bebop okay, okay. straight up okay yeah that, that, there's there's it's like almost one-to-one and a lot of like world building issues it just happens well, to- like the big like reaver thing that like serenity the movie covered like that big old like background story lore with river and all that that wasn't like that part wasn't straight lifted. No, from that's Bebop. just that's just I put a zombie thing in in yeah. Cowboy Bebop. I mean, space. Yeah, it's it's a fairly major bit of Firefly lore that like I'll say is 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 distinct. It's different, but it's um, different. It it's it's fine. Like it's fine. Like, I'm that- trying to think of what the situation was in that world. Um, in regards to like, was there a Starfleet? Was there like, is there anything close to a Starfleet in the Firefly world? It's like, well, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's like it it's like post World War Three, like yeah. right after, and we have forced everyone to start cooperating. Yeah, and it, learn Mandarin. It, it, it's like a slightly different. Um, it's a slightly different way they handled it. So in Star Trek. After World War III, there's a lot of turmoil. And what united everyone together was that this guy, uh, I forget his name, but the, invented warp speed, right? The mm. light speed travel, which attracted uh, Vulcans nearby who was scanning the, the our solar system and visited us. And they're like, oh my God. And in, you know, in Gene Roddenberry's extremely optimistic version of the future, the fact that we were exposed to alien races and our horizons expanded made us go, wow, we should really like come together as a yeah. whatever and bullshit. <laughs> that, that, that would never happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Firefly is, um, it's just like colonies. You, you might as yeah. well just put imperialism, but across different planets. And that's yeah, Firefly. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 I'm convinced that humans are, are very unevolved and we will not. <laughs> we're, we're millions of years from like being able to do that. To be like, oh, fuck, there's aliens. Oh, shit. Fuck, religion was wrong, dude. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Be better. Yeah, we would be yeah. like, "What the fuck? Like, how do we weaponize these fuckers, dude? We got, or we got to kill them. We got to get rid yeah. of them now. Yeah. Or can we? We, fuck we either got to kill them or fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. what? What valuable thing do we have? Do they have yeah. that we can exploit? Yeah. yeah. Or how delicious are they? You know, those, yeah. those are like like the five. Look, I'm things. in that. I'm in that camp. <laughs> how how is tender both, is our meat? Yeah. Meat is both valuable and exploitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I also oh. I, I just had a clip of the the last thing Picard says this season because it's like but, it's supposed to be magnanimous, but it feels like it falls short just because like Picard is doing it in this episode where not much happens. So it's a pity we can't take them there ourselves. Having them on board is like a visit from the past. That will take us in the wrong direction. Our mission is to go forward. And it's just begun. Set velocity. Warp six, Mr. LaForge. 
Aye, sir. Warp six. There's still much to do. Still so much to learn. Miss LaForge. Engage. So that's what I meant by their their attempt to kind of put some bookendy things at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, it, it seems very tacked on. Like you yep. can you can see the part where the writer was trying to glue <laughs> the plot to these lines. You can see the refrigerator poetry just stuck yeah, onto the yeah <laughs> to the script. Yeah. To be fair, okay, part of why this episode is just frankly kind of poorly written. Like, you know, like Riker being a dick about exploration and Picard being like, why did you bring dead people back to life? All these weird things that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's because a writer strike happened right in the middle of writing this episode. So they were going through revisions. Writer strike happened and they said, oh, shit, this is the episode now. (laughs) And they stuck with it and just started shooting it. Um, So uh, it's part part of why it's not great. It's considered one of the worst season finales in Star Trek, I think um i'm willing to believe it sure yeah as a finale it really falls yeah short. yeah i mean like this is the same show that has what's considered one of the best season finales in star trek which is best of both worlds which is frankly oh. an amazing season finale uh, and that I, is i don't like, think i don't think that's what i'm i don't think it's the same thing i'm thinking about oh <laughs> and, and that and that's something that i actually didn't get um all the way to in yeah, like my last it's gonna be that, really that interesting when we get there um because I how think many seasons are there there's seven seven yeah but best of both worlds is the end of season three yeah season three is when everyone considers star tng like truly hit its stride season two is really interesting season two is like you have probably some of the best episodes of star trek ever like Measure of a Man, I keep bringing a Measure of a Man, but Measure of a Man is my favorite episode of Star Trek in all of all if time. It's not a couple of, if it's not Picard and Riker re- measuring their dicks, I don't want to fucking see that episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you have like that, but then you have some horrible episodes. And a lot of that is going to stem from the fact that once we get to season two, you'll see it. Uh, the setup is a little different. They, they, they shook some stuff up, but uh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they you'll, sure did. Did they you'll, bring back fucking Yara? Well, you'll see. You'll see what they shook up, and it's uh, it's oh. some of it's some of it's a little upsetting. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I was going to- more than when they killed off fucking Lieutenant Yara. Well, that's the thing. When I first was watching the series, when Yara died, I was like, oh, cool, because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that character. But the, when we were when we were watching it for this podcast. I actually found it really emotional. I was like, oh my God. Like, I actually feel sad that she died. And then her her speech at the end was actually really emotional. I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, I'm into this. Um, but yeah. I think we grew closer to Yar this time because of Ricardo. Ricardo is definitely a factor. He has been, he's been influencing us to be like, to care more about this. Uh, it's just funny. Like, I, I think I said this before, but the, Ricardo's perspective is very interesting because he has preconceptions or not preconceptions because it's happening live uh conceptions about star wars star wars uh star trek that damn it marvin are very against the grain and i find it fascinating um (laughs) like what well like that you like tasha yar like people (laughs) hate tasha yar really yeah they 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 consider the whole uh, okay like he did fall right in line with hating wesley that yeah that that is that is it's really hard to like wesley he has very few redeeming qualities like right and like you know uh yeah it's like a common like star trek insult (laughs) yeah it's no uh, redeeming qualities yeah 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 it's i don't know this is this is very interesting this has been a very interesting ride uh, through season one, because um, he's a meat bag full of mostly water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I'm getting different ideas and under viewpoints about the series that I don't think I I've really felt before. So it's it's, it's interesting. But anyway, for this episode, the season finality, finality. Wow, I'm great today. Uh, the season finale of the neutral zone. What did you think, Ricardo? What would you rate it? It's a, you said it was your favorite episode. Yeah, the, of the season. Yeah. Maybe because uh, I, I don't know. I really liked it, dude. I like these travelers. Um, not like the other pedophile travelers <laughs> that like Wesley too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go somewhere. I want. I need somewhere to go, but I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay, okay, okay. 
I mean, I understand the reasons why, because because I think what I've grown to realize is that you like the episodes where it explores an interesting concept and like tries to go through the motions of it. I think yeah, yeah but like not prime directive episodes that not, ask really but not prime directive um, interesting questions because prime directive is so contradictory constantly that it's just frustrating. Yeah. Like I, I uh, more like I like the the episodes where I don't know, maybe it's just the way I see things like that are, that like I, I'm not a. I'm seeing this with a, with fresh eyes that like, but like, I like interesting characters like that and interesting like ideas that it's like, well, these people don't understand shit that, that's going on. Like that concept is very interesting to me. Like I could have literally seen a whole series mm. about those three travelers. Yeah, you could, you it's could make Futurama. a, it, yeah, you could make an interesting, I mean, that's Futurama. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Futurama is yeah, literally yeah, that exactly. plot for the whole series. Dan, what would you think about this episode? Um, while it definitely fails as a season finale, um, the episode itself, uh, one, one thing about that, that yuppie guy is something that I found really odd about it is that every so often they would try to like give him a moment of like humanize it. Like they would try to humanize him a little bit every so often. Yeah. Like when Picard turns back to him after talking to the other character, he goes, I'm yeah, sorry. Like he almost, I, he I didn't mean to yell. Half apology. Yeah. yeah like, he does that. And I, it seems like they were just trying to sprinkle that in so that when he like uh, more or less saves the day at the end, which like, I don't believe, I feel like Picard would have figured that out on his own. Like, I, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. or if Deanna was there, she would have told him. Yeah, exactly. Um, if Deanna was there, this thing would have been solved instantly. Deanna yeah, yeah, would be yeah, like, yeah. they don't, they don't know. They don't quite, uh, understand what happened either. Done. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, yeah, ba basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, all, all that said, I think really, yeah, the George Jones guy is like the, the thing that I like the most about it. Um, but like Ricardo, I do understand or like, not that I understand, but I, I, I do find, um, intrigue and, and interest in these big questions that are being asked by these character situations. Like, how would you deal with being a person out of time, thousands of years in the future? How would you react to that? Like, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. would you do, especially in the society that has kind of done away with all the structure and motivations and basic goals that were once common? Like that stuff is actually pretty interesting and big to think about like look I, I hate the rich guy but he brings interesting concept because there are people like that that like yeah yeah exactly. yeah that's their drive no, to true. life so that's absolutely true yeah so i i think uh like a seven and a half is is around where i land with it okay um, okay yeah, yeah yeah like i it, it's something that gets you thinking uh not necessarily about the episode right but yeah it, it's it's full of interesting ideas yeah so so for me i i i can't personally divorce it from the fact that it is supposed to be a season finale and i i really want way more out of this because basically nothing happens like, oh yeah like almost nothing happens like even 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 in star trek where things are episodic usually a season finale of a season has some change in the status quo to something to make it more interesting like some progression I would uh, say that like this is the most subtle like backdoor stuff in the world where it's like they just implied a greater threat that can scoop up like outposts and stuff. Yeah. But it, it's it's barely like it's almost it, nothing. there's no light there's yeah. no light cast the, on it. The, just the stuff that comes later on involving these guys could easily occur without this episode. This exactly. episode yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, like, this episode doesn't actually set up why that's interesting. Yeah, so, it's it's almost an Easter egg, if anything. Yeah, so I'm just like, I'm going to give it like a five just because like I just really don't like it as a season finale. I just right, want more out Here's of it. a question. Say we're in a hypothetical universe where they decided to swap the air dates of this and the previous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would your rating change? And if so, by how much? Probably. I'd probably give it like a seven Okay. just because it's fine. But it's another episode where not much happens, and then then it would be less of like a season. Like, oh my god, Romulans are revealed. That's the big thing for the season, and it's more of like, mm -hmm. oh, the Romulans are back, cool, mm -hmm. and that's that's it. You know, like cons sure. like okay, like there's some people who really don't like conspiracy, and there's some people like conspiracy is a divisive episode because a lot of people are like it's very like I'm on the boat that it's very exciting and at that point the series had established itself with a certain status quo and tone that having an episode that's about being like kind of mystery and conspiracy and intrigue is like interesting to go against the grain at least for one episode mm -hmm. uh, so i think that was an interesting ep it wasn't executed that well but the concept's interesting and it could have been good um but other people hate it 
because it's like this isn't TNG. TNG is not about conspiracies and like not trusting people. TNG is about like everyone working together to solve problems. If you want that, go to DS9, which I also agree. DS9 is much more about that. It's much more about the inter interpolitics of bullshit and how people are lying to each other and stuff. So that's hmm. fine. But if it was a season finale, that would have been a great season finale anyway. So I I I, I think if I switched it, it would have been would have been cool. But yeah. Also to imagine like you're you're watching this as a season finale, and you're like, oh my god, are these buttworms coming back? Yeah. And then you have all summer to f- they'll be like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. And, the and fa- then you'll never see them again though. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 And if they don't, that sucks. Yeah. But as a season finale, it was still fun. Yeah. And it was fine. Like, you know. Um, cause it's, just, it's, a you know, it's a serialized, not serialized, but it's like, you know, it's, it's a network show, you know, things yeah. happen. I, I, I wouldn't be like, oh, this isn't breaking bad where we're like, you know, they plan out the whole series at the start and then yeah. wrote towards an ending, you know, it's not that. Well, you know, what's so funny is that like a lot of the times when I've watched these episodes, I've been like, well, I usually watch it either the night before or like the day of mm-hmm. when we're recording. Mm hmm. And sometimes when I watch the, the the night before, I've watched the episode and been like, "Well, I can do one more because like like when when there's episodes I really like that I'm yeah. like, oh, if I can go, it's exactly how I used to watch them like when they're on. But TNT, I don't yeah. I don't do that. I'm like, nope, yeah. I'm done because I don't I don't want it. I don't want to lose the the freshness of the episode. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's interesting um, the way we're watching it because I think it's yeah not. I don't think this is necessarily the way most people have watched it or maybe even intended to have this be watched. <laughs> so, well, we're watching kind of like how everyone wa- when when, the, I guess the when it first aired. came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then people yeah, were like, we're, we're on a week by week basis yeah. as like yeah. Yeah, yeah. W- uh, minus like some of the hiatuses in between. Right. Yeah. Hey everybody. That's the end of our discussion for the neutral zone. Like I said at the beginning, we'll be back next week with a really quick bonus episode that recaps the first season. But in the meantime, thanks for listening and stay safe. <laughs>